How's it going guys, Sharblox here. I'm sure all of you guys know what the Roblox desktop app is. It's also known as the Roblox desktop beta app. Maybe you've heard some people call it that. If for some strange reason you've been living under a rock for like the past, I don't know, two years or something, and you've never heard of this before, well, I guess I could pretty much say it's like a mobile version of Roblox, but on desktop computers. So you know, like PCs and laptops. If you're running Windows or Mac OS, then you might have encountered this before, because pretty much guys, Roblox is trying to force this update on us. But I'm sure most of you can agree with me when I say this update sucks. It's pointless, it's terrible, it's missing so many features, it just makes it so hard to like customize avatars and to make games and find stuff on the website. Basically everybody hates it except for the Roblox bootlickers, because let's be honest, they love everything. I made this video a while ago on the 1st of August, because what's been happening right is Roblox have been updating the desktop app yet again, but the thing is they haven't really added much updates in the first place, like there's not really any new features or anything like that. They've literally been giving us this pop-up at the top of the screen, and for some people, even if you don't click on open, it automatically gets downloaded on your computer and it literally forces the desktop app on you. Yeah, it's so annoying, I hate this thing. And in this video I made back in August, I did actually add a little guide at the end of the video showing you guys how to disable it. The first half of the video was discussing the new updates, I was basically saying how they ruined it, like it was even worse than last time. You can't use plugins with this thing either, like honestly, it sucks. Anyway, yeah, before I get too off topic, like I was saying, at the end of this video, I showed you guys how to remove it. I did something called the alt account method, which was pretty weird. You had to make like this random Roblox alt account, then you had to log into the alt, and then that way you could go into your desktop beta app settings and actually disable the beta. However, guys, Roblox has removed this feature. They also patched this alt account trick. So pretty much, Roblox Roblox have made it even harder to get rid of the beta. And yeah, most of us honestly hate this thing. So in this video, I'm going to try and show you guys how to disable it yet again. But like I was saying, Roblox keep on trying to patch it. They keep on trying to make it difficult for us to disable it. I have a few new methods in today's video. So if a couple of them get patched, I hope some of them are still working. And just quickly, if some of you are still confused, I just want to say the beta app or the desktop app, it's got nothing to do with the Microsoft Store version of Roblox. Yeah, this version is also terrible and very outdated and old fashioned, but still, it's different. This version also sucks. I wouldn't really recommend you use it. Just use the normal website version. Like it's honestly the best we've got. But yeah, the Microsoft Store version, let's get rid of it because they're not the same thing. The desktop app is actually even worse. So right now you guys can see I'm on the normal Google Chrome web browser version of Roblox. I did actually get a message earlier today, you know, like the pop-up message. I got it at the top of my screen like I normally do, but I always close it off because that thing drives me nuts. Well, let me quickly show you guys that this thing is actually like forced onto my computer, like Roblox pre-installed it, probably with the most recent Roblox client update, which is very annoying. Yeah, if I go and join a random game, I'll just use the catalog avatar creator for an example. You guys will actually be able to see it when I try and leave the game. So if I click on the logo or if I click escape on my keyboard, it brings up the menu, right? And a lot of us just click on leave, then we click on leave. This is basically how you get out of a Roblox game, like that's common knowledge. Well, the problem is guys, as soon as I leave a Roblox game, it pops up with the Roblox desktop app. And like I said, I don't want this thing. And normally guys, we used to go into the three dots, we used to go into settings, and it used to have a little option saying disable beta, but now it's gone. Yeah, this thing is so bad, it's laggy, it's clunky, it's horrible to use, all of my features are missing, I hate using this thing. This thing is garbage. Whoever at Roblox thought this was a good idea, like you're absolutely nuts. So what we're going to do guys, we are going to press F11 on our keyboard. This is going to exit you out of the full screen mode. You then want to click on the cross at the top here. And there you go, the beta has been closed. However, if we join a game and try and leave again, it's going to pop back up. So let me show you guys all of the ways on how to get around it and how to remove it. So here we are guys, back in a Roblox game. Now the first method is called the simple method. I named it out myself because I did actually find this one. I just want to show you guys, I'm on the regular game. I haven't got the desktop app running or anything like that. What you want to do guys, if you're in full screen mode, is go ahead and press your Windows key. Then the taskbar is going to pop up just like this. You want to hover over Roblox, you want to right click it, then click on close window. Then it's going to pop up in the game saying would you like to exit. As you can see it says new to the Roblox app. Now we don't want to use this, if you click on back to home it opens up the Roblox app. If you click on close Roblox it brings you back to the website, let me show you guys. So close Roblox just like that and I'm back on the website. That is a very very simple 
way to bypass the desktop beta app. You guys can try it. Let me know down below in the comment section if that works. Now onto method two. This one also works. However, this one's a little bit annoying because you have to do this every time you want to play a Roblox game. Found out by Zach though. He said, I found out how to disable the Roblox beta app on Windows, by the way. So what you want to do is right click the Roblox player. Then you want to click run as administrator and it should fix it. Let's give this a try. Find Roblox on your desktop. You want to click on it. Then you want to right click it. Then you want to do run as administrator. Then it's going to pop up like this. You guys need to click on yes. Then it's going to configure Roblox. It's going to install Roblox. It's basically like refreshing it in a way. Then it should say Roblox is successfully installed. You guys need to click on OK. Now you want to try Roblox game. I just selected a random one. Build a boat for treasure. Let's go and join it. Hopefully it doesn't open up the app. Let's have a try. So let's click on this. Let's go and leave the game like we normally would. That worked. It literally let me exit the game. That's a pretty decent one. But like I said, you might have to run it as an administrator like every day or every time you want to play Roblox anyway. Now we're moving on to the third fix. Shout out to Omar for finding out this one. He said, disable it on Windows. Search for Roblox on Windows and then press open file. Right click properties and you need to change some settings. Right, I see. So it might say Roblox player launcher, but we need to change change it to Roblox player beta. Okay, that's interesting. I guess we can go ahead and try that. Let me copy this line of text and we can see what ours was set as. Right, so what was it? Find the app, right click, then go down to properties. Oh, I see. That's interesting. So what? I'm going to highlight this. I'm going to paste in a new one. We might have to add in that little quote, quotation mark. Then I think if you do apply and then OK, the desktop app should now be disabled. I'm not going to lie though, guys. I am a little bit confused about this patch because surely the thing we just added right roblox player beta isn't that like the beta app i think as long as you guys add two dashes you should be good so if yours says roblox player launcher or roblox player beta i'm pretty sure if you add two dashes you should be fine but yeah this one's a bit strange but you can still go ahead and try it i have a feeling this might have crashed my roblox let's give it a try let's join the old egg hunt why not i used to love playing this so let's go and join a game let's see if it brings up the app or not so again let's go up to the menu let's go on leave let's go and leave the game. That actually crashed my Roblox. Okay, that's interesting. But it did leave. It was just a little bit slow. You know, I'm really starting to think my method that I showed you guys at the start of the video, I think that's the best one. Now guys, the final method for today is called the reg edit method. This one only works on Windows and a lot of people are telling me that Roblox patched it. Shout out to Troy though. He said you have to go to reg edit, then computer, H key current user. I'm not actually going to do this because I've already showed you guys some methods that work. But if you're really struggling and you just can't get rid of the desktop beta, then yeah, you're more than welcome to try this one. You just need to search for RegEdit on your computer. And yeah, guys, it's this thing right here, the registry editor. You guys can try what that guy said if you really want to, but you should have disabled it if you followed the previous steps anyway. I did notice this as well. Some people are saying on Twitter, you can actually delete the Roblox player beta app from your Roblox settings. That might be a good idea. And yeah, there we go. I know Creekcraft was actually complaining about this thing. He was saying, I don't think I've ever hated something as much as the new Roblox desktop client. So there you go, guys. Send this video to Creekcraft. I thought he was okay at computers. I don't know. Maybe he can't figure it out. He said it literally broke his entire recording setup. Yeah, guys, please send this video to Creekcraft. Maybe something in this video can help him out. I don't know. Let's see if he can figure it out. Bruh, can no YouTuber figure out how to fix this? Oh, well, I guess that's what my channel's for, right? Why is Bloxy News saying this thing is good, though? This new app creates a seamless experience between browsing, playing by having everything under one app. This will also make it easier for Roblox to push updates across platforms, PC, mobile, console. What are they talking about? This thing sucks. It literally ruins everything. I honestly think sometimes, guys, people just need to be real with Roblox. The trouble is, right, if you say everything that Roblox does is good, that's why crap like this exists. Because, you know, people back up Roblox, they say, oh yeah, this update's so cool. Sometimes you've just got to be honest. Very, very quickly, because it's the end of the video, I just wanted to say I honestly wouldn't recommend double clicking to open the Roblox app anymore. Literally, guys, go onto Google Chrome, Edge, Firefox, whatever you use, and go to www.roblox.com in the URL because that way, guys, the desktop beta will not get installed. But so there we have it. Weird video for today, but yeah, if you guys found it helpful, leave a like and subscribe. Cheers for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.